Okay, continuing, this is part two of this uh, drawing tutorial. Um, and uh, before we've, so we've opened up Autodesk and we've gone in here to Tools, uh, set the units to millimeters, uh, had to apply and then save the file and then close it and then reopen it. And that way, when you reopen it again, these switch to millimeters. If you don't do that, they stay in inches, which is, I don't know, it's a bit strange, but that's, there you go. Um, I've selected one millimeter, depends on the type of um, thing you're making. Uh, one millimeter will do for this. And I've set up the grid display one line per one millimeter, which you can see here, and one major line for every 10, which is so that's one centimeter. So, okay, so there's uh, basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine centimeters, 10 centimeters across on the screen. So we'll draw a box. So you go to model, click the model tab. Uh, oh, we're already in sketch mode, so go back here. So here, this green tick here means you're in sketch mode. So go back to sketch. Uh, choose. I'm going to draw a rectangle. Um, it's on snap to grid, so you can see the little yellow point here snapping to the grid. Um, just pick an arbitrary point. Uh, I'm going to go start from here, and I'm going to do a um, let's see a let's say a 50 mil by uh, by 30 mil box. Okay. Um, now if I pick up this icon here, I can actually turn that drawing around and you can see the 3D effect that I've drawn a box on this XY plane. Now what I want to do is extrude that outline to make a 3D object. So I'll just quit out of that zoom, I press escape and I'll go to model and uh, extrude. Now there are some 3D functions that you can't do while you're still in sketch mode but extrude you can do. Sometimes you have to finish a the sketch then you can do these other functions. Anyway we're going to press extrude and you can see right away it selected that outline. If you had more than one drawing here on this plane you'd have to um, click on it with your uh, cursor. Um, now I'm going to make a, tw a 20 mil high box. At the moment it's set to 10 mil. And this is another little quirk. If I change this 20 mil, um, sometimes you have to press uh, OK and then cancel and then restart that for, to to um, select an area. But at the moment it's done that for us. Uh, if you press that arrow, it goes down. Press that arrow, it goes up. And these are important functions too. Uh, this here means create a volume. This means subtract a volume, and this means find the difference between the two. Um, so anyway, I press OK, and we've created a 3D object, which you can... Well, let's just zoom in on it. You can look around it. All right, so it's a 3D object. Uh, sometimes it's helpful to change the view to a wireframe model, so that you can sort of see what's happening inside your, uh, your design as well because the uh, shaded one doesn't let you do that. Okay, now this little box up here is pretty handy because you can choose which way you want to look at the drawing. So if I click front, it orientates the front, and I can press zoom all, so zoom all, and this one is panning, so pan it into place. Um, just press escape to get out of that. You can ch pick on a corner like that, it'll orientate to these different corners. Right side. Now see how it's got right side on the side? I might not want that, so I'll go like that. See? Now it's got that as the top view. Alright. Uh, so, I'm going to work from this. Oh, sorry, this. Going to start with the front view. Now, um, I'm going to add some details to this box. Uh, firstly, I think I'll do some uh, lettering. So I'll go back to the model, uh, create 2D sketch, and choose that front plane there. And if I swirl it around, you can see that it's put a grid pattern on that top of that box there, or the front of the box if you go by this thing. All right, and I'll just straighten that up. There. All right, escape. So I'll just uh, stop it there because we've uh, done one little step. 
it's uh, if not.